Well, I think I'm going to have to take it to the angle grinder. That much work with the file made minimal progress. The fact that it's already too hard means that I am almost certain I am not going to screw up the temper um, with the angle grinder. I will keep it cool anyways, but it could probably stand to be softened a little. Um, in order to fix that chip, I do want to kind of blend in the sides of the rat, the uh, pull here, and then go with that that bevel um, just to try to minimize it. I probably won't be able to get rid of all of it, but try to clean up more of it. And there is some pretty deep gouges. I'm not sure if you guys can really see. pretty deep gouges in there so I think I'm gonna take it to the angle grinder I'll be happier again it's a user I'm sure you saw in the previous clip that the progress was really slow made. so I do believe that the pull on this is hard which does confirm why this you know we've got a slight chip here and the crack on this side so because it was taking so long to actually file it, um, I'm going to take a flap wheel on the angle grinder and try to smooth this out. Depending on how quick that goes, I'll decide whether I want to try to do the, you know, checkering um, on the pole. Because, because it is hard and that might be a pretty big undertaking. Um, you can probably go ahead with a dremel, but even that progress might be take forever. So. I think first what I'll do is get this cleaned up and then kind of see where we're at. And since this has got a lot of mass behind it and this is overly hard to start with because it is chipping, it's not, you know, mushrooming, um, which I'd like to see. Uh, I'm not really too worried about overheating it. Um, if it does seem to be getting really, really hot, I will dump it in some water, but I'm not too concerned with overheating this, especially since it's not the cutting edge. Um, and this should stay nice and cool because the heat's not going to transfer all the way through the head to the cutting edge, so. Yeah, we'll get at it. So, as you can see, we're making some decent progress. Um, that crack is still there. But a lot of that really severe denting and dippling is out. That's the chip that I was speaking about earlier. I'm hoping that I can take the top face of the hammer pole um, down low enough that when I bevel this, um, kind of put this chamfer back on, this chamfer here, it'll hide most of that. There might be still be a little bit left, but that's just kind of part of the history of the axe, I guess, so. But, it's starting to look pretty good. I think that's a 60 grit flap wheel. Um, I probably could have gone more aggressive with it, but that's the most aggressive uh, wheel I have. It's like two in the morning, so I'm not running out and grabbing one. Uh, so. Yeah, it's it's warm to the touch but i can i can still hold on to it right now so i'm not concerned about the temper at all and the bit itself is is cold still because it's very cold in my garage right now <laughs> you see my breath so i'm not too i'm not concerned about the the bit getting too hot at all and like i said the having the pole get too warm is really unlikely with that uh, with an angle grinder i've talked to some others that Said the exact same thing with cleaning it up, so I feel confident in taking this approach. Well, it's coming along good so far. Self is looking pretty flat now, nice and square to the head. Um, what I am going to try to focus on next is it'll help me focus a little bit. I'm going to try to start working on these bevels, um, the chamfers. So on this head, uh, the two at the top and the bottom of the, the pole 
significantly bigger. So I'll probably lay those down a bit more, kind of exaggerate that a little bit. And I think it'll help me get rid of the, some of that chip. And kind of bring those other ones into, not quite match, but blend it in a little bit. So judging by how slow the progress is, even with the angle grinder, I'm cleaning this up. Um, I don't think I'm going to do the checkering, uh, the waffle pattern on the pole. I think that'll just be too, too big of an endeavor. And with it, where I'm thinking about it, with the cracks that were already present in there, I, I don't necessarily know if I want to introduce more areas that could be like stress risers. Should I want to use it? Um, to kind of hammer anything and I think cutting in those grooves might do exactly that and I'd risk cracking the pole you know even further down in there I think my best approach is just cleaning up the pole putting on the nice chamfers and then maybe I'll sand up the rest of the head a little bit clean it up a little bit and uh cold blue it we'll see I'm not sure if this will be a, a part two and if we'll do a part three uh, in which case, if it is, love to hear what you guys think and, and whether you think I should clean up the rest of the head or, or leave some of that, that blue paint. Um, I do kind of think it's kind of cool. Uh, so, leave some of the character from that and just clean up. Maybe I'll just clean up and blue the, uh, the pole. But One aspect, too, is it has this crack right here still. It runs down the side of the eye enough that I couldn't quite get it with the the chamfer. Maybe I'll maybe I'll widen the chamfers a bit to kind of match this around with with my files and some sandpaper. Just because the the flap disc is rounded, so it's not leaving a perfectly flat perfectly flat surface. So I'll uh, I'll get this clamped up in the vise. See if we can't even out some of these chamfers, kind of wrap them around so that way the chamfers on the, the top and bottom of the pole kind of match the side. I think that should, that should just about take care of where that crack is. Because that's pretty much the only remnants of the, the previous abuse. You can see right there, that's where that big, um, that big chip was. So going back in and kind of evening out where that where the chamfer is and where that bevel is clean that up nicely you do have a little bit smaller face for the hammer but i think that's much better than leaving a giant chip which could you know potentially if you want to use it for for any kind of um driving anything uh, introduce more cracks into the head so all right enough talking i will get this chucked up into the chucked up into the uh, vice over on the bench and we'll go at it with a fire. It was kind of hard to see but the bevel on this, where I ground it with the new one, stops about here. The original one comes down to about here. I think I'm probably going to try to keep it roughly with where the new one was. Maybe a little lower. I'll kind of blend the new one in with the old one. I'm going to take this. I'm going to try to bevel it to about there. I guess that more lines up before the, where the old one is than the new one. But take that. I'm not trying to take the top of the bevel in further. It's really just trying to take it from where it already is and remove everything from this point to that point, just so I've got a lar larger chamfer on the outside. And really the only goal of that is just to try to get rid of that crack. I don't want to leave it. I might have to if it seems like it's, it's deeper than what I'm expecting, but we're going to try at least. <laughs>
So you can see that crack is still there a little bit, but we do have that bevel kind of re reintroduced here. It's not the most even for my file work, but you see it's almost down to the point where it matches the original one. It's kind of right in between the two right now. I think if I take it down to where that original one is, I might be able to take that last little bit out. So I'm gonna try that. Also gonna try. Actually, it works looks worse on camera than it does in person, but maybe that's just picking up more detail in my eyes. Well, <laughs> um, it's there still, but it's definitely not as bad as before. That chipping, pretty much relegated to just that. Pulls pretty flat. Still want to drop this bevel down so it matches up with these other ones. Even this one out, or even all four of them out. And kind of blend them together a little bit. So do some more work with the hand file, hand filing. Try to achieve that. Looking pretty even. I do plan on uh, chamfering the corners here too. I just want to make sure everything was looking looking pretty good and symmetrical. Pull came out pretty good so far. Honestly, I don't even know if I'm going to touch that with the file. It's a pretty decent finish right there. Maybe roll a little bit. Just try to even it out a little. Next, what I'm going to do is just clean up the head a little bit. Um, it's really not in, in pretty good condition, but I do want to clean it up just a little bit more. Um, just because I think I'm going to just kind of blue whatever the existing exposed metal is. If I don't like it, then, well, oh well, I guess I'll have to strip it. But. Good start to that is usually just give it a scrub down with something that's going to kind of work as a degreaser, so like some Windex or some glass cleaner or some some carb cleaner, something like that to just kind of get the get any residual oils off, so that bluing takes a nice nice finish. So I'll give it a little scrub with uh, the steel wool, and then once I'm kind of done with that, I'll clean it up with the carb cleaner, put some gloves on um, prior to bluing.
what I'm going to start with doing is just cleaning the head. Try to get it as oil free as possible prior to bluing. Applying the bluing um, or in between coats of the bluing and it helps give it a bit more of an even finish. So you can see that, that fresh steel pull took that color really nicely. This is the finish we came out with. I'm definitely happy with it. It darkened up nicely. It actually darkened up more than I thought it would um, with already having kind of that initial patina on it. So, yeah. The new surfaces came out good. Um, if it would have done more work and really polished them out and you know evened out that scratch pattern even more, it would have come out even better. But in the end, this is just a user for myself. So I'm not going to spend a ton of time working on that um, this is perfectly suitable for me um, one of the things that you do want to do after you blew it i believe the instructions say is to let it you know give it a coat of oil too um, otherwise it will kind of like flash rust on you and i've definitely experienced that before is you, you know, spend a bunch of time cleaning up ahead sanding it and then you know, you're done for the night you go and clean up and you don't coat it in oil you come back and it has you know flash rusted um, so, in order to avoid that, just make sure you use a coating of uh, some kind of, you know, light oil. You have a little bit of some Pro 7 gun oil. For coating the heads, um, you can use a light coating of boiled linseed oil. I usually try to avoid that because boiled linseed oil is a polymerizing oil, so it actually forms like a, a finish. Um, you know, it, it, it hardens. Whereas, like a, something like a gun oil like this isn't going to. Um, so, a light coating of boiled linseed oil on the head, that's all right, but I prefer to use a different kind of. Uh, you know, gun oil or like kind of rust preventative thing like that. Well, this oil will still prevent rust, but I'm sure I'm a little different for the head. I think that came out well with uh, leaving that, that bit of paint and kind of that original originality to it. I think it that light blue, kind of Scandinavian blue, also pops against the uh, that blue steel nicely. So yeah, I like it. Give you guys a little better look at the pole, a little, a little more up close. And I'm happy with how the bluing came out. And cleaning up the, uh, the damaged parts worked well too. I'd like to get rid of that small crack, but hey, it's a user at the end of the day.
far as work goes on the head, I think that's probably probably about done. Um, this will be part two of the video. I think part three will probably just be getting uh, getting the handle thinned down and hung up. So thanks for checking it out. I'm definitely uh, appreciate you watching and, and I'm happy with how this came out. I think it'll be my goal for this uh, this head's just to be a user, so I think it will serve that purpose nicely. Yeah, stay tuned for the next one.